I put out for you most of the things that I use to work on Adam. Tool-wise and some materials. And this is what we use to put Adam together. We like very tiny, precise tools. Do you recognize this for your dentist's office? This is one of the very common tools that a conservator uses, and it's a bamboo skewer. This is something that you can actually touch. You can pick up that arm. Yes, that's heavy. Feels heavy, right? Yeah, it doesn't look heavy, but it's really heavy. That's a model of Adam's right arm. With a lot of stuff, we see we practiced a lot on it, so there's stuff all over it. But this is why we used the model, because we didn't want to get the sculpture dirty or get any adhesive on it until we knew exactly what we're doing. Well, some conservators technology is really high tech, like the laser scanning, you know, the computer animation. Some of it is just bamboo stick and cotton. It's one of the best tools. To be a conserver, you need a lot of knowledge about tools from something really simple to something like a 3D scan. You need to know chemistry. You need a lot of talent and skills. I'd recommend that you come to see Adam, because with Adam, you can really admire the sculpture, how the conservers put all the pieces back together. And you can really look at it and see how big a deal it is that conservers are here to help restore priceless pieces. They're heroes of the Metropolitan Museum. This is Owen reporting from the Objects Conservation Department. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> he's saying right on. Right on.